It's you! The Grey Warden! Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. My lady, you're here. Thank goodness. They are both inside with Riordan of the Grey Wardens, who arrived this morning, just ahead of the Darkspawn. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. I don't rightly know. Things happened so fast, I only know he was scouting in the south before he arrived. I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Redcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Word has been sent, but they need more than warning. They need our armies. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denrim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denrim must be defended at all costs. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. This may be our only chance to face the Archdemon. We could stop the Blight here before it truly starts. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. The Darkspawn. The Marrying Alistair to Honora would not have been my first choice. Still, it does keep the Theron bloodline alive, and Honora is a fine ruler. So I suppose I owe you thanks, Warden. All of Ferelden does. He insists on going. How can I say no? I am uneasy with the danger he puts himself in by accompanying you. I ask myself if he does not conspire to leave the throne to Honora after all. But Alistair knows his duty. He will do what is best. Right now, he believes that is assisting you in contacting your allies. We have sent messengers to Orlais. With any luck, the Empress will send us help within a week. I think it entirely possible, however, that she has written Ferelden off as a lost cause already, and will seek to defend her empire first. Perhaps the Grey Wardens of Orlais will be able to march and reach us in time. We should not rely on their arrival, even so. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men, or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they're pleading the need for self-defense. Huh. Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah. Evening to you, Grey Warden. 
I didn't realize you were still up and about. Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the dark spawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half hours thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Resting? Who can rest after the march we had just getting here? You tall races have it so easy. That and we're kept up thinking about the coming battle. Are things truly that desperate? Do we stand a chance of losing? I hope you're right. Under the open sky is a terrible place to consider dying, that's for sure. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. Well, there you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Let's get started. You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn, but should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. The Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. As far as we know, the transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The Blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does.
There you are. It is. You'd be best to keep your guard up, while enjoying yourself, of course. We can go to Danarum, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Most your age would spend much of their time preoccupied wondering when they might perish. Yet you already know. Oh, that's funny. Such cruelty from such a beautiful woman. If you hear sobbing later, that's me crying myself to sleep. Consider the possibility that Riordan may not be there to make the final blow as he plans. What then? Do you run away? We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Riordan could end it. Or both of us could die before we even get close. You do still intend to kill your target, do you not? Is your reputation not on the line? I'm going to get some sleep now. We are done talking about this. You love hair. Big surprise. Do you care what anyone thinks? Not unless they can do something for you, I'm sure. No, I can see that. You don't care what anyone thinks. I'd be happy if I thought you cared about anyone other than yourself. With you. Who needs Darkspawn? I... I care. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. Only one. Alistair, if I could do something terrible to aid, must I? I suppose we could use whatever help we can get. Alistair. Not be alarmed. It is only I. I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you, however. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. It is old magic, from a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic, but I think that means little to one like you. Perhaps, but that price need not be so unbearable, especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer, nothing more. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me, here tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed, with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. 
The child will be mine to raise as I wish. As you wish. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. I do not wish to tell you. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. I have no doubt he may, but he will not. It is all I ask for in return. Then you have decided? If you care for him as you seem to, you will convince him to. Consider what the alternative might be. Do you think Alistair will fail to do his duty as the future king and save his country? And if you take the blow instead, he loses the woman he loves. How do you think he would feel about that? I think you have many good reasons to tell him to save his own life. I think you should consider them carefully. This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. Even if I thought Riordan could be convinced, he is unsuitable. I need one who has not been tainted for long. It must be him, and it must be tonight. Do not let your foolish pride condemn you. No Grey Warden asked for the sacrifice that is now demanded of them, and I offer all of you a way out. Will you not reconsider? Then you are a fool! I will not stand by and watch you waste this opportunity. Die if you feel it is worthwhile, or be overshadowed. I care not. Would that I could have helped you. That is your doing, however, and not mine. Fare you well, my friend. I do what I must now, and so shall you. <laughs>